I think uh, for musicians to listen to folk is a very important thing. It's a very, very important thing. And people, other people might just uh, 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 differ from this particular opinion, but folk is something which I think everybody should hear. And everybody should hear as much music as possible, mm. rather than being trapped in one particular hole, you know. Uh, my brother's guitar. It was uh, a guitar that my father got from Bombay for him. Uh, if I can call that my guitar because it was my brother's <laughs> guitar. Uh, then my first guitar was actually gifted to me by my father. He had gone to Czechoslovakia. In those days, Czechoslovakia was there before it got to uh, broken down into three or four different countries. So it came, it was a beautiful guitar. It was a classical guitar, but it came fitted with steel strings. Steel strings? Steel strings. But it was a, later on, I did not have any idea about what guitars are all about. So if with Delhi weather, it warped within a year's time. Huh. It had a beautiful sound. Um, then my next guitar was actually gifted again by my parents. I remember my mother went to a particular shop and I, uh, it was a second hand guitar and it was a lefties guitar. Okay. It was a Leibniz. Oh. And I, I bought that, uh, so uh, that was in, I'll tell you, that was 1981. Now, 85, I got my, I would say the first professional kind of guitar, that was a Martin. Mm. And, um, so I uh, had bought that and then came a series of other guitars. Now all those guitars are from the Martin, all the guitars are at home. And now there yes. are a series of guitars that are named after you. That's right. How do you know about that? <laughs> <laughs> so how, why would they do that? What do you know about it? <laughs> Uh, uh, it is quite um, interesting that uh, out here uh, in India, where I am almost not considered a guitar player, um, an American gentleman had to come and say that I want to make a guitar for you. And he was, he's a master luthier. So, uh, it's, a, it's a paradox. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, I laugh at it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know about it. I. I want to know, how did that happen? Uh, because before that, a lot of other companies like Fender had approached me, Gibson had approached me to, to endorse their guitars. They would have given me their guitars for free. But I, I was not liking, I mean, uh, there, were, there were certain aspects of my playing. So when this person came and said that I want to make a guitar and, uh, you know, he first couple of days, he just he just studied the way I play, how I sit, what are my postures and all those kind of things. And uh, 200 questions that he had asked me and then he went and made, made this guitar for me. And it is one of the finest pieces that you can see in the world. It's been made for you. Yeah. Made for you. Absolutely. Exclusively. Exclusively. By a master luthier. Oh my God. Hmm. So. In, in a country where you're not even <laughs> yeah. recognized. Is that guitar available for other people or it's a one, one piece made? Well, unfortunately that, that uh, company does not exist anymore. I mean, he was the guy who actually got India in the global map that we are one of the leading guitar manu manufacturers. We that, in India? Because of him. Because of him. 
He was calling his uh, country Derazun Guitar Company. Yeah. That's gone. Over. Nobody can even dream of making such guitars in India at this point. There are some good luthiers, but nowhere close to that. about yourself that your music does not attune to any particular genre at all right does that give you a kick it feels nice that i've been able to create something new but it has its negative things because there are jazz festivals there is rock, rock festival there is uh, classical festivals now all these festivals i'm not fitting into <laughs> yeah. should we understand it like this that okay sushmit in indian ocean Hmm. And Sushmit in Sushmit Sen Chronicle is different uh, aspects. There are different distinct. aspects. There are different aspects, and this, there are certain aspects which probably I could not do with Indian Ocean. Because every creation also has a saturation point. Hmm. Right. Hmm. And uh, so, what I have been able to do with, uh, like, there have been. Uh, uh, compositions like Depths of the Ocean right. is a composition which I had composed way before I actually formed the band. Mm. But that never came into the band because whatever the reason was. Sure. But when I actually did record it and I did publish it, I mean the amount of critical acclaim that one song has got is something amazing. Mm. And then I do want to uh, um, explore my music in um, a, with orchestras. Okay. Okay. And I think a lot of my pieces have a huge capability to uh, be exploited uh, uh, with, you know, either chamber or a philharmonic orchestra. So let's see. My next endeavor will probably be that. Like for the term teaching, hmm. uh, to teach, uh, you know, it has a connotation that you are trying to um, give a person or a child or whoever something that the child may or may not want to learn. Okay, finally the child will learn. Hmm. That's a different. Uh, I think guidance is a much much coaching uh, guiding guiding guidance is uh, something. And people do come to me for guidance. So, um, and that also I come to know that how much the person is open, mm -hmm. how much the person has already been streamlined into thinking, you know, think in a very narrow way. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are people who come, and I know that oh wow, this person has a much much larger uh, 
mind span hmm. uh, to absorb to absorb more what you have to offer yeah wrong person to ask this question <laughs> i have which never been I'm educated <laughs> but uh, uh my, my only thing is that when people do teach and there are teachers all the technicalities of music there are technicalities like when you uh when you are speaking in english or hindi or bangla or whatever uh there is a grammar to it right and that's exactly what what we are talking about technicalities of music but the best way to learn something like music is the, the way you learn your mother tongue right so when you are growing up in a hindi speaking family or an english speaking family when if you are not taught the grammar not this that you would not uh, speak perfect uh, english or hindi yeah. you will yeah. right without yeah. knowing the actual grammar you know what is uh, uh, how to form a sentence and this that and so on and also once you have uh, uh, learned to speak a particular language the technicality is not there in your mind when you are speaking you are not going to uh, think about uh, this is the grammar i'm going to use in my next yeah, sentence yeah i have to use an adjective rather right. than adverb right so yeah. you you're not thinking about yeah. that so the way a person should be uh guided into music is to be able to unlearn those technicalities only then the expression comes out uh last question what is your uh, what is it the people who would listen to you through this conversation and especially the young musicians hmm. um what would you tell them not to do not to do uh okay normally people ask me what would you tell them to do but not to do don't copy don't copy hmm stick to yeah. what you can do by yourself absolutely Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update.